Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I thank you. If you are interested in making a few extra bucks by using the latest technology, the blockchain-based Secure Brave Browser, the link is in the description below. You can be earning cryptocurrency as you surf the internet as you normally do. Ad blockers are in place to prevent all those unwanted bothersome ads as well as your internet speed will increase significantly. I highly recommend it, as it is the only browser I will use on my desktop and my phone. It was made by the same programmer that made the Firefox browser and is super secure and as I stated earlier, based on the new blockchain technology of today. Did I mention they pay you, the user, for using their browser? First article of interest for today, an economist warns against passing the 2020 budget in its current form. Economist Wissam al Tamimi warned, on Tuesday, against passing the 2020 budget in its current form prepared by the government of Abdul Mahdi before resigning, pointing out that the deficit will be over when voting on it according to the lowest estimates in the next month of May, and therefore significant changes should be made before it is submitted to Parliament. Al Tamimi said in a statement to Slash Information Slash that the available information indicates that there is a surplus from the 2019 budget amounting to 36 trillion dinars from the operational budget, while there are 24 trillion surplus from the investment budget, especially since many governorates did not spend their budgets. He added that the government of Mohammed Tafiq Allah we must prepare a new budget for 2020 other than the one prepared by the government of Abdul Mahdi, especially since many of the changes have taken place. In addition to that it will be a budget for several months and not for a whole year. And Al Tamimi said that the budget deficit announced by 48 trillion dinars will be an ending deficit, especially if the budget was voted on in the coming May at the very least as a vote will be taken on a budget for only seven months, and therefore it must be known where the rest of the money will go and how it can be used in a way it is true away from corruption. Next article of interest. Politician. The election law was locked into Parliament and did not see the light. The budget delay is a door for continued corruption. Today, Tuesday, Political and legal expert Amir al-Da'ami confirmed the continuation of the existence of the new election law in the corridors of Parliament without any step to be approved by the Presidency of the Republic, noting that the delay in approving the 2020 budget law is also considered a door to the rampant and continuing corruption in Iraq. Al-Da'ami said, in a statement to al Akbaria, the election law approved by Parliament is locked into the corridors of the Legislative House without seeing the light because it was not published in the Awaka newspaper or endorsed by the Presidency to not send its supplement, which stipulates the number of districts electoral system, its name and details. He pointed out that the delay in bringing the law out of Parliament is another mistake, adding to the major mistakes committed by the House of Representatives in this parliamentary session. Noting that, the delay in approving the 2020 budget returns to us the tragedy of 2014 before the government of Haider al-Abadi where the money was spent without a budget and witnessed thefts catastrophic, due to operational budgets, lack of scheduling and oversight. The expert al-Dami stressed that, what is happening indicates the inability of parliament to pass resolutions that alleviate the suffering of the people as a result of successive governments. Next article of interest. Digital transformation in electronic payment technologies in the banking sector. The large and accelerated development in modern banking technologies, systems, devices and programs has led to a wide range of development and change and transformations in the economy, labor market and productive sectors, as the digital transformation is one of the most important drivers and incentives for growth in government and private companies. And given that the banking sector is the main link in economy through its financing and investment role, the digital transformation in this sector has become an urgent necessity. The concept of digital transformation, it is the transition to the governmental, private, financial, banking, 
and productive sectors to a business model that relies on digital technologies to innovate services and products and provide new channels of revenue that increase the value of their products at low operating costs. There are a number of requirements for the transition to digital transformation, the most important of which are 1. Building short-term and long-term strategies that include studying the current reality of the government and private banking sector in terms of available technologies, available devices, customer information base, the bank's financial database and qualified human resources. 2. Infrastructure and means of information and communication security. 3. The strategic partnership between the central bank, government banks, private banks, electronic payment companies, financial technologies and service providers according to the following. Asterisk working in a joint manner that includes the central bank, banks, and financial technology companies, through a specialized council or committee. Asterisk establishing an independent company in which government banks participate by 20% and the private sector 80%, and it includes the payment companies, telecommunications companies, information technology companies, software development and electronic payment companies. The challenges of digital transformation. Obstacles to the transition to digital transformation include the following. 1. The risks of electronic operation. 2. Access to the banking system and theft of electronic identity. 3. Credit card fraud. 4. Electronic piracy. 5. An imbalance in the comprehensiveness of the banking system or as a result of customer errors. 6. Imitating computer programs or falsifying information identical to programs. 7. Failure of banks or financial technology companies to abide by legal rules and regulations, or the absence of a law regulating digital transformation. The Iraqi Experience with persistence and high confidence in the ability of the Iraqi financial and technical staff to overcome the challenges of the technical gap that Iraq suffered due to the repercussions of the blockade, wars and instability during the period of the information revolution, the central bank, banks and specialized technical companies were able to overcome the challenges that stood in the way of the digital transformation of the banking sector and stand in the right direction in the darkest economic and security conditions that our country has suffered during the past years and drawing a sound roadmap to catch up with technological developments in the countries of the world. The follower of the situation of Iraq during the past five years notes the extent of belief in the Iraqi capabilities and competencies to effect change and bridge the technical gap between us and the developed world, and this is evident by what has been achieved from important accomplishments as follows. 1. The methodology adopted by the central bank and implemented by banks and electronic payment companies permanently focuses on working under a sound legislative, regulatory and legal umbrella as well as promoting governance concepts and international standards in relation to information technology and financial technologies. 2. The issuance of the electronic payment system for funds number 3 of 2014, the establishment of the National Payments Council, governance controls, institutional management of information and communication technology, regulations and legal instructions that govern the work of banks and electronic payment services providers. 3. The central bank plays a pivotal role in creating advanced and pursuit infrastructure for the latest global technologies and developing the bank's financial and banking systems, payment systems and advanced communication networks according to the latest technologies. 4. The central bank, banks and electronic payment companies possess advanced payment systems, in addition to retail payment structures, and the national divider was one of its most important parts. 5. Granting work licenses to many electronic payment services providers, card issuers, collectors, and processing the operations of mobile payment companies, bidders and payment gateways through various channels. 6. Broad interest in implementing the first objective of the bank's strategy for the years 2016 to 2020. It is achieving financial stability through a sound financial system with an interest in achieving financial inclusion and reducing risks, as well as adopting a project to localize employee salaries. It is clear from the above achievements that the central bank, 
the banking sector and electronic payment companies have overcome the challenges of the technical gap due to the blockade, the occupation and terrorism, and today it is moving steadily to achieve the digital transformation in the financial and banking sector towards achieving financial stability and the transition from the monetary community to the critical community, which is also one of the objectives of the government curriculum on the fourth axis, strengthening the economy. Future Plans 1. Promote research and development activities to manufacture new banking products. 2. Improving the performance of banks through new inputs based on modern technologies, as well as the development of patterns and policies that adopt modern banking techniques that preceded us in the developed world. 3. Building capacities and qualifying human resources in the field of modern banking sciences, technology and innovation in order to achieve the goals of sustainable development. 4. Setting plans and programs aimed at transforming society into a society that deals with criticism into a society of criticism and an information society, so that economic and social development plans and strategies are produced while working to achieve the goals of sustainable development. 5. Preparing national policies and strategies consistent with the monetary authorities' plans in management supervision and control, and in coordination with information and communications technology. Next article of interest. Central banks keep talking crypto on Tuesday. Today there has been lots of talk about cryptocurrencies including Libra from the central banks. Feds Powell said that the single government currency, USD, has served the country well, when being questioned by the Suntate today. He then went on to say, Facebook's Libra really lit a fire on the question of a digital dollar. We're working hard on it, we have a lot of projects going on, a lot of efforts going on on that right now. Preserving centrality of a trusted currency is important. It's unclear if a digital currency helps with that. This seems to be about control. With cryptos it is very hard to control the supply. Unless you keep money in escrow like Ripple. Before all the questions surrounding a central bank digital currency, CBDC, were about anti-money laundering and terrorist financing. The ECB also had their say today as new ECB President Lagarde said. The ECB is assessing the potential and implications of technological developments for payment services and financial stability, and it is also making an active contribution to such innovations. To this end. We set up a Euro System Task Force in January to investigate the opportunities and challenges associated with different potential designs for a central bank digital currency and to test how they would work in practice. In particular, we want to assess whether a central bank digital currency could serve a clear purpose for the public and support the ECB's objectives. Together with five other central banks and the Bank for International Settlements, we will share experiences in this area and assess the potential cross-border use of such digital currencies. So the ECB are further ahead with their plans. This is not a surprise as they have mentioned this a few times over. Now we need to see a product and some more details. France and German have been very critical of Libra and it's clear to see why if they are making a competitive product. Only time will tell if this test will be successful but the anonymity of current cryptos will still be a reason for them to stick around. I think current crypto traders are not happy with central banks controlling the markets. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog. Also check out my Facebook or Twitter for all of today's articles of interest as I post them on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, 
by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in the real true asset like gold. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.